Ness. Where are you? On their map pick of all. Lotus could be the death blow to Genji. To hopes and dreams. To the pursuit of hardware. Heretics on the attacking side. Genji will have to figure out how they weather this reckless abandon from these kids. Yeah. And they'll have to do so soon. Very slow approach with Benji Fishy prodding at C while the silent walk up, the death ball, is on A. And they had so much utility out and ready. Had there been anybody rubble, they would have pounced right off the bat. You're absolutely right. Careful. And what a mess that would have been. That door tap keeps two players on the B site. There is a rotation over from Munchkin. Cover going out. Karen, he was so good at anchoring A site in the last map. Can he find the same success? No. 30 seconds left. We will drop a Munchkin week. Patrick on the swing. Somehow he stays alive. It's Lakia. Makes a. a ridiculous run at this. He's got Meteor this far. He's gotten him to the doorstep of a pistol. But Rians and Benji Fishy are looking to take it and make it their own. Spike goes down. Spike Time planted. was short. Now Meteor will have to make a play. He's going to have to get active. The right click not connecting. A switch to heavier weaponry. How does he find a way around this? Look at how well Rians and Benji Fisher are playing this. They drop him. 12 steps away. Genji, Gen not really interested in investing much here. Sheriff in some utility. You also got that suck nade combo right at the top. It would suck really bad if they lose. I will end up forcing Patatek to take a step back, but this is the slow approach that we saw, much like a set, a 4-1 split on the anti-eco. The, the tricky thing, though, about Heretics is, man, they slow it down, and just when you think you've got their pace understood, they punch you in the mouth. Yeah. Patatek right now, he's just a human drone. A role that we saw Benji Fishy doing in the previous. And he did it well. They're pushing into a fair amount of resistance here, but the resistance crumbles. All of it picked apart. Texture and Karen now starting to rejoin the scene. But the crime has already taken place. Wood is weak, 9 HP, but it's going to be so tough to get their way into this. Seems like they're gonna sh just going to try to fall to the spike. Not give away any ult orbs. Not give any advantage to the opposition. Whoa. Oh, that was close. Almost. And now they know. They've drawn out the paranoia, and that's going to have them push. Texture trying to keep them back. He will fall. Karen takes one with him. A consolation prize for his troubles as he gets two. That's all it'll be. You want these rounds to go as cleanly as you can. And yeah, they keep two Bulldogs, but that was anything but. <laughs> yeah, He's spending so much money on this gun, and it's doing so much damage. Oh. Texture's down to 29 HP, and he's dead. Again, the combo is too much. I mean, if Heretics pull this off, what a nightmare it would be. But Genji standing strong, keeping it close. Really nice repositioning by Karen there. And he's going to get away. A lot of hurry up and wait now. As things slow down, the door is tapped. Prowler's used. It is two rifles, and they're both here. Oh, it's such a bold swing! How in the world did Rians do that? What? Full control. He's taking over this map. He's taking over the series. What could be the last dagger, the last slash? He lined up. Mess up because of it. Early paranoia used by Karen. Got the eye out as well. Created in kind on the other side. Heretics slow things down once more. Genji have a pretty formidable defense towards C right now. Not only do they have the KJ utility, but they also have three members here. Texture being one of them, but the gun's not great. 
and Heretics right now, they're playing so smart. They baited the orb tap. They're waiting for any type of trap play. And here it is. They're not going to get punished whatsoever. A step ahead of it. Forcing the counter punch. Forcing Gen.G to play the game they want to play, but Meteor perhaps interested in making his own. Still dancing up and down, in and out, dropping Boo. Sheriff shot secured, but finally will fall. They've got to tuck tail and get away from this. They've lost the pot. They've lost the situation. I mean, Benji Fishy almost died just there. He has to stay. He has to control the guns. Yeah. And yeah, a site is free, but now it's going to be two upgrades. And if they can steal this round away, oh. around that Genji surely have the advantage of. Punch is going to cut him off. He's already there. They know where he is. Enemy remaining. That's the spike. Spike down. That's the a. round. Patatech's been good, but not this good. Ten seconds left. Oh, there's no time as well. What a round from Drop Meteor. Dodging the omen flash. It was all up to him. Solo hero on an island. And it's the MasterCard Ooh, thrifty. thrifty. Oh, again. And texture getting spammed out. How somehow he still gets a kill on Naboo. They thought there was enough suppressive fire, enough cover for him to get around and TP across, but Texture a step ahead of it. Oh. And Lakia is showing he can do a bit of the same. Yeah, the counter spam. Two Odins on the map. It's just complete chaos on A. Amongst all that, you're right, Texture getting that pick. So impressive to do, especially on low HP. Good use of Molly to break that alarm bot. Yeah, and that's going to force things to slow down a little bit here because Gen.G have to respect what's potentially on the other side now. And that's why you see the lean from Meteor. He knows he has yeah. to pick that up. That threat of a B split or any type of B pressure, it's so hard to hold with just one person. And early Roomba invested at A. And right now it's Heretics doing a C default, but if they do not push up and break this Killjoy turret, there's no need for Gen.G to have to rotate anybody. It seems like Meteor's gonna try to anyway. Karen with paranoia at the ready. Super proactive with utility is Gen G. Patek plays it so patiently, decides not to pull the trigger, decides not to strike despite it aching for the touch. Benji Fishy pushing forward the nightfall in the face. Meteor falls. Wu will join him though. As the spike now down. And again, they're thrown apart. They will fall. Rians would have to 1v3 through this. They've gotten the spike down. All he has to do is buy time. Much like we've seen a couple of rounds already in the series. I gets clear the spam through all of the targets spotted. He gets one, but it's just too much. He's overwhelmed and he's outnumbered as Genji will get their second. So great talk so much about the spam game that's played early on. This time a little bit more aggression, a little bit more fight out of the defense. A little bit of friendly fire there as well with that paranoia. But I mean no one there from Heretics to try to punish that. And even if they try to go through there, there's a tether at the other end of it. Too much utility to deal with. That's why you see them take in the C space. I didn't realize Benji Fishy had that good of an arm. Yeah. Meteor in a lot of trouble here under a lot of pressure, but he gets his two. Oh, he is the one who's the problem. Just when it seemed like he put off too much. Dinner bells ring. The jump Everyone from over the top of sight, the molly, the blender. See that paranoia out, the haunt over the top. Boo's already dead. They're stuck, man. They're corralled. Either they take the fight or they sit and die. And that's all heretics can do. Texture's intuition and timing is so on point right now. A lot of these kills, he's just getting spammed through smokes, but he's just aware of oh. where they're going to play. And Munchkin will clean it up with a nice spray. That looked so easy. That looked so effortless. A flawless round for Gen.G. Benji, Fishy, and Boo with their ults. You can't imagine those are invested this time around. Gen.G getting a little active across the middle of the map. Yeah, what's this? Trying to clear out the turret. The door is tapped. Bring them down. And it's just a game. Probably getting a little info. Spam war is going the way of Gen.G. Good tether to delay. And now the paranoia to make things even worse off the swing. Lucky, you can't find anything yet. But what? Can. Hang on now. B 
Meteor down and Heretic slow it. But Texture striking when the moment is right. Nice. Locky joins in on it. Can you get another? Just clean rounds right now from Gen G. Yeah, guys, as we turn our attention to the ninth round, back on guns for both sides. And five in a row for Gen G. If they win this round again, it's another eco for Heretics. And we might be looking at a seven to three half. Heretics have tools, four ults to choose from. Gen G and Op are offering their own. I mean, again, this KJ setup that they have on C and then the personnel to reinforce it, to bolster it. It's difficult to navigate. Yeah, you peek through that. Turret will connect onto you. Omen flash comes out. All of a sudden, everyone's blind. And then the nanos are cooking you at your feet. Yeah, like, like that eco round. You're done. And a refreshing of the smoke now. From Karen to make things worse. To bleed the clock a little bit more. Whoa! What is that? Texture's back. Do they commit here? They don't really have any other options. There's nowhere for them to go. They tap the door to suggest they're going to be, but the alarm bot will keep Great them there. Now, Nightfall left. through, paranoia trade. It's a swing out from Karen as they wait. And he's going to get one. Meteor holding them back, dancing around the utility. Oh, board. that's unlucky. A bit of success, but it might have been enough. With 10 seconds left, the spike out of reach. Wood has to try to scoop it up. They have to get active. They've got to do so soon. Slowing things down a little bit, only finds one. Can Rians be a hero once more? The jump spot not gonna land. Munchkin on the swing as Genji gets six. Picking up a two seed from the APAC region in hot pursuit of their first championship ever. The back and forth has been immense, and let's see if this oh. little combo right here, Nate Tether, can be even greater. Oh, it, it hurts! It, it hurts so much! My god! Texture gets four! That's a showstopper online for sure. Lucky, like, yeah. but what a trap! <laughs> like it's still doing that. Hey, pop. We've seen so many teams try to go for that, and it never works. Not like that. <laughs> that works. Never works like that. But oh my goodness! One enemy. That remains. might be one of the most satisfying images I've seen. Fell to a meme setup. Both sides, four alts apiece. Heretics have to make a stand here. They have to find a way to punch back. The problem is, Genji have been so disruptive. And Heretics, apart from the pistol round, they haven't really had a chance to even touch a site. Lakia. I mean, he tagged up. Pad attack, they're very low. Six HP. They had no choice but to shoot back. <laughs> the fear of the Odin. It's real. Boot just sprinting out of there. He wants nothing to do with it. Interesting choice to change up the pace and pick up a rifle in that moment for Lakia. Proactivity front B. Rocket for rocket. The first 55 have gone without a kill, but now Wood on the swing and Munchkin on the kill. Texture over the top, Benji Fish, he had nowhere to go. He takes him down with him, but the damage has been done. Oh, this position is so difficult as well. 30 seconds left. I mean, if they try to commit B, they have to be concerned about what's on the other side. Boo falls, Lakia holding the line, waiting for the swing, and they waltz to their death. Pat attack, not able to fight back. Rian's worse for wear. Too many targets to choose from. Lakia will get Gen G to eight. Solo anchoring the A side. The man I Why did he help? Why did Lakia help? Stepping up huge after a bit of a lackluster performance on Ascent. And they're setting the tone. They're, they're changing the pace. Full aggression through C. They have to go fast. They have to go aggressive. Because time is short, Woot popping the rocket. And again, Gen G, as you mentioned, hot to trot. Three on the prowl. Benji Fishy considering investing the ult, waits for just a moment as Rians gets the spike down. Welcome you imagine the ults are gonna come world. through in bunches. There's the first. Now Meteor will have his along with Benji Fishy. 
Hang on, folks. This round is going to be insane. The nade does not connect. Where is Boo gone? He TP behind them. You have to suspect that he's there. There's no way you disrespect that. There's no way you ignore it. Meanwhile, the push forward. Menchkin gets caught. Four players detained. And Boo pushing forward. Genji gets alive at the right time. Boo gets one, but that's all it'll be. Genji a 9-3 half. For the duelist, the hour has struck and the man has appeared. And not a moment too soon. Genji on the attack. A 3 2 split right now. And Rian's just going to spot a little bit of what's potentially waiting on the other side. You have to assume there's more there. As the panel gets broken, the suck will hang on to texture for just a moment, but now all eyes turning towards B. Rian's just joined the fold, but it's just him and Benji Fishy here for now. Okay. Will they get the... Prom plant for Gen G. But Heretics, they've been so good on retaking. And they have the time. They're so patient with it. But there wasn't a lot of utility invested from the side of Gen G themselves, so they have a counter. A smoke towards heaven and a paranoia towards the panel. Had a tech falls. The nade as well. The flash almost makes it easier. And Texture's gonna drop him. Genji on the precipice of another pistol. Texture gets three. Genji gets a ten. And Let's get that eco. Texture, that ghost. Someone on the side of Genji giving full support to the main duelist of their squad. Understanding how important it is for him to get going. Something they couldn't figure out on the last map. And now Woot punished by three sets of utility meteor. That's pushing his way forward. He got his one. But Heretics again seeming like they'll end this round on just a whimper. What a shot. So much for whimper, but it's still just not enough. You still have two rifles you have to reckon with. Cover going out. There are sheriffs on Heretics, and we've seen them do some funny things with these guns, but what? Again. What was that? The joke is all Gen G's now. I'll find you. Okay, maybe it's my net. Gen G gets to 11. To a ton. And look at the buy from Gen G as well. Everybody has a gun that can be very complete. A 3 1 1 split. Slow C default. But a fast B clear from Meteor. Playing with complete confidence right now. And he's about to face Woot head to head to head. Takes him out. Woot barely stood. The last three rounds of this half, he's been just getting obliterated. No chance whatsoever. Headshots, utility, you name it. Genji are going to try to rotate back A. Who's pretty close by. As soon as the smoke goes down, though, and the wall goes up, he's got to understand. Yeah, there's presence on the other side. He will find safe passage away. Cover going out. But the problem is, A side is completely open. If he gets pushed off of this door, and bomb goes oh, down. No, that was the big problem. What? That was a safety he had to find. Maybe Genji overthinking things, but they might actually catch Benji Fishy out of transition. He can't connect. Great. He got his one. Almost gets a second. It's messy, though. They're going back again. Seconds left. The triple pump fake <laughs> around the world. I mean, they've touched spawn like four or five times. It feels like <laughs> actually only three, but. <laughs> Pathic re-ends in a high low. Lakia falls. They're fighting a. back at this thing. They've gotten it down to a 1v2 with 13 seconds left. They don't have the spike. Munchkin has to go and he has to go now. Even if he gets his kill, surely. Oh! Oh my God. What the fuck? How? to do was survive but that's much easier said than done much easier contemplated than completed unreal and so no real interest in slowing the clock down really no option for heretics to do so anyway one ult to their name four guardians and then a phantom for re -ends. 
Genji have obliterated heretics on Lotus. Careful here. They might obliterate them again on this C site. We're gonna go fade alt for fade alt. The deciding factor might be that showstopper from Texture. Just a little bait of the door. Drags the player away from C. Rian's whiff is all at the ready. There's plenty of defense here. What's the Q? What's the go button? The smoke goes out. There it is. That's all little B. And that's gonna cause a rotate. They're not even really interested in sticking around. They tap the door, they're going B, and it's gonna be a foot race. Pat attack, forced to sit back and wait. Not able to pass the lob at his feet. And look at Karen, aggressive on the swing. A bold, perhaps reckless approach. But he bides his time, he's patient with it. Understanding he can play this as slowly as he wants, or he can speed up, Rian's falls. Oh. They're all crumbling. They're all crumbling. Heretics trying to build fences, but Genji interested in digging tunnels. Boo, over the top. He gets another. Heretics not done yet. Yeah, it's a little too late right now for Heretics. But if you're Heretics, you never say die. It's always winnable. the mindset you have to have as a professional player. That's why they've gotten this far. See the spam through the orb. Benji Fishy keeping him back. Still plenty to go, but they're taking this step by step. Munchkin spotting one, taking a step back. They finally dealt with the signal. Oh, that connects. And the Prowler to confirm presence. Patek somehow staying alive, finally falling. Rian's filling in on the space behind it. Well, that didn't go the way it was supposed to. <laughs> Bouncing back, but he saw him anyway. The problem is here, Rian's has no way to get out. And I wonder if... Yeah, they know he's there. Th th does Meteor use this ult? Yeah, he does. It's gonna force Rian's to have to swing. Do heretics just fight? I don't know if they have a choice. They kind of have to go here. And they've been baited into their deaths. Boo's left in a 1v2. 85 HP, no armor. Can he prolong Lotus? Or is split on the cards? Spike planted. He's quietly moving forward. And just like that, Genji finds safe passage away. Tucking behind the wall and staying alive. Genji obliterate on Lotus. And Dre, the old saying goes is that every single banger ends on split. And the dream of every grand final is to go five maps. Lo and behold, we have everything we could possibly want. Stay around. This one's going to be good. We'll see you guys next.